Hey guys, Chuck B here and Organics. What's your thoughts? Do they work? Do they not work? Well, I'm going to show you a little something that, uh, a little versus, a little comparison I did with an organic product compared with a glyphosate product, RM43. Stick around, check it out. Hey guys, so today we have me standing in the, with the sun in my back here. Watch out, Murph. So I've painted a red circle and a yellow circle. Watch out, dude. And uh, I guess it doesn't matter if my shadow is on it. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to compare RM43 to my um, organic weed killer. And we're going to see the effectiveness rate over probably a week. And I'll take a, <coughs> excuse me, and I'll take a picture every day. And we'll see how these two compare to one another. I'm going to spray RM43 in the red circle. And I'm going to spray my final sand in the uh, yellow circle. And we'll see how the two compare over time. Temperatures tonight right now are getting about 40 degrees. We're getting about down to 40 at, at night, and uh, or actually 30s. So the plant uptake is slowing down a little bit. So this may take, I don't know. I'd say we're going to take a full week spraying tall grass like that to see the effect. But we'll see. I'm going to do some more spraying to empty out this tank, and then we're going to load up a. A final thin tank and do another spot spray and uh... all right guys so what we have here is final sand it is organic non-selective weed killer and as you can see I just got it in It is. Uh, oh my goodness. Freaking in there tight. So that's what we're opening up. I'm going to use two days for the comparison. Oh, how about we do that? This is part of my Be Safe um, program. I'm just looking at some other I was just looking at some other stuff that came in the uh, in the pack. So I need to look at this real quick and make sure I understand how I'm going to be mixing it. So I'm going to read the label. I'm sure you don't want to watch that. And then we'll mix up this tank and uh, get ready to rock and roll. Alright, so I read it. It's a pretty uh, heavy mix dose. It's quite a bit of product. This is not a, a cheap do it for everybody product this isn't nowhere near as cheap as RM43 like I said your, your organic organic products are gonna run a little more I didn't know what to expect what it was gonna look like it's just a clear but we do and that's why we wear gloves she walked right out on me We are mixing at 
26 ounces per gallon. gallons because I know I have a job tomorrow in the morning so I'm mixing it up right now since I was two over on the last the one before I'll be 22 on this one all mixed up and like I said it is an organic uh, we got four gallons in here I'm just gonna go do a quick spot spray on that circle and then we'll see how it goes day by day we'll see what happens Hey guys, so today is day five, and you can see the uh, the organic has killed out the grass way more than the uh, Roundup. However, I will say the temperatures have not been very hot. So, I mean, I can still I can see where it's starting to kill out, and this is grass, not weed. And I've always found Roundup takes a little longer to affect grass, um, but it will. But right now we're at day five, and I'm not going to take any more day-by-day -day pictures. I may take a, a picture in another week to see if anything had changed. And then maybe three weeks or something just to see if this really did kill out or if this is just something that's happening over the top. So anyway, guys, there we go. Five days with the uh, glyphosate versus the... Um, final sand which is fatty acids and salts and uh, there you go so guys so yeah so that was my little uh, I use it, it's an expensive product uh, the product name is final sand um, I buy it from my uh, be safe dealer um, it is organic it works extremely fast even in the hottest weather when when it's really hot glyphosate's really gonna work better than obviously this early spring test I did but 
th this product works really fast and it's because of the uh, the oil in it or the, the fatty acids it really sticks and it burns the grass uh, anyway it's very expensive it's not something you're going to do on everybody's property it's not going to be every every time you spray a flower bed you're going to use this um, it, it's about a hundred and sixty bucks for two and a half gallons so I mean it's you're paying for it but your customers that are really worried about organics that upcharge they're not going to you're, it's obviously a concentrate two and a half gallons. You're not spraying it straight out the can. Um, and there's different mix rates that you can do uh, for initial applications and follow-up applications. And but anyway, that's for you to, if that's a product you were to look at, that's something you need to figure out on how you're, I'm not going to judge it, tell you how you would charge for that. That's how you come up with your own pricing. So anyway, I just wanted to show how that product works. It's, I get compliments all the time. Every time I do a job, I'll put a little uh, picture up here of a job I did. Um, this lady was getting ready to put in a, uh, she's going to put in a little deck, a little back porch deck thing. And she wanted all the grass freaking wiped out. But she is one of my all organic customers. Very concerned about, I mean, everything is organic with her. Uh, so she's willing to pay the extra for the organic service and this um, this picture right here I didn't do it before but the um, the grass in the in the lawn is what it looked like where I sprayed it was dark green all the way up to the house like that and this is four days I, I, that's a four day and she sent me the after picture I didn't take that she sent that to me with an email just talk about how awesome this product is that I use and uh, anyway just glad to keep customers happy and that just goes and reaffirms that what I spend on these products is worth it not only do they work well they make the customers happy so anyway guys if you're going to be out there and you're going to say you're an organic applicator you need to really have some organic options and you don't have to sneak in anything I know I had a little Facebook conversation with a guy um, who said he was an organic applicator and then when I mentioned this product and the cost the first thing he said was I can get in there and get a haircut the first thing he said was uh, how much cheaper it would be to use um I don't know if the sun's getting you, but if it is, I'm sorry. But he's talking about how much cheaper it is just to use uh, Roundup or HDX. Uh, guys, glyphosate's not organic. And once I pointed that out, he kind of dropped off the conversation. But anyway, if you're going to be an organic applicator, have organic options. Organic's going to be a little bit more spendy right now because it's still real, relatively a new thing in lawn care. Uh, there's products coming out all the time. And we're going to start going over these products. I'm going to show you what I use and try to get some more before and after stuff on how they work. And uh, anyway, that is Final Sand. Thanks for uh, spending the time here checking it out. Uh, there's some things changing in the channel like always. But uh, you guys will see. But I got some things in the work that's going to be pretty cool. I think, I feel, and it's going to do everybody. Uh, it's going to help everyone that's trying to grow their business. So anyway, guys. That's my little comparison of a uh, organic versus a conventional product, and I hope you guys got something useful out of that. And thanks for watching.